We kind of pride ourselves on making it look easy, even though it's a very difficult job and it takes a lot of time and a lot of loyalty and a lot of patience. Um, we really, we really try and make it look easy and hope that it sort of transfers to the wine and that the people enjoy the sort of carefree attitude that, that happens here. I started when I was 17 and haven't missed a harvest since. Um, got a graduate degree in archaeology, of all things, and uh, happened to work at wineries the whole time while I was while I was doing that down in Santa Cruz, and then uh, moved back up here in uh, '94 and started at Schlumberger in '94, and I've been here ever since. Once I started to realize people were enjoying the product that I was making, it kind of transitioned from just being always available with alcohol or bottles of wine to, wow, even my grandmother likes this, what I'm doing. So um, it was something I took an interest to. And most people in this, in this industry are the same way. They get bit by it. 85 acres of organic vineyards, 15 different varietals, two separate ranches. Um, I live on the upper ranch, so it's in my backyard, um, which is, is really nice. Um, makes it really convenient but you always see your work kind of thing um, I'm not complaining I'm just letting you know <laughs> uh, we get a lot of the maritime influence uh, from the ocean which is only you know 16 17 miles away from this point as a crow flies uh, and dry creeks known as a very warm spot but we get a lot of cooling uh, we're usually the first to get it and one of the first to clear so it's a nice it's a nice little uh, setup for growing grapes. And Syrah is one of the things that I've actually made at every winery I've worked at. The wine we selected for Cellar Angels is the 2008 Syrah. It's a Dry Creek Valley Syrah, which actually is, comes from this estate. We have five different parcels that we blend together. We co-ferment just a little bit of Viognier with it, um, about 3% in 08, which kind of rounds out the edges a little bit. Um, it still has a really nice lush blackberry nose with um, with a little bit of toast on the front end from the, I think it's 25% new French and American oak. Um, it goes into a really nice mid palate that again sort of shows Schlumberger ness, if you will, um, which you know means that over time it's going to age really well. We actually leave some tannins in the wine and and hope that people will be a little patient with it and you know reward themselves a few years down the road when they open this. And I'm really lucky. I'm, I've got some really great people working for me, people who are winemakers in their own right. Um, so I've, I've got three to four palettes to, to hand, up, hand stuff off to and, and get, get opinions from these guys and gals about what, uh, what's, what's happening. So a portion of this goes to charity. So um, that, that means a lot. I mean, we all, we all have uh, things that we want to support and, and people and groups that we want to support. And um, in this day and age, it's really important that people who are, you know, who get to do something that they love can actually do even something with even more love. So, um, you know, handing off, donating some, some proceeds from, uh, from the sales of these wines is, is, is a great thing. It makes everybody feel good.